Matthew Perry's death, longtime assistant charged with administering fatal dose of ketamine. In a tragic turn of events following the death of beloved, friends, star Matthew Perry, authorities have revealed that his longtime assistant, Kenneth, Kenny, Iwamasa, was responsible for administering the fatal dose of ketamine that led to the actor's demise on October 28, 2023. The news was confirmed during a press conference held by U.S. Attorney Martin Estrada on Thursday, shedding light on the circumstances surrounding Perry's untimely death and the alleged exploitation by those close to him. Iwamasa, who had worked for Perry for over 25 years and lived with him in his Los Angeles home, was charged alongside several others, including Dr. Salvador Placencia and Dr. Mark Chavez, as well as alleged street dealer Eric Fleming and ketamine queen Jasmine Sanger. According to the Department of Justice, Iwamasa admitted to repeatedly injecting Perry with ketamine without any medical training, including multiple doses on the day of his death. Details surrounding Perry's death reveal a concerning pattern of behavior among those in his inner circle. Estrada stated, the five people charged in this case took advantage of Matthew Perry's vulnerability and addiction to profit for themselves. The investigation uncovered that Iwamasa and Dr. Placencia were involved in distributing approximately 20 vials of ketamine to Perry over a two-month period prior to his death. Iwamasa's actions were particularly egregious, as he was reportedly the individual who discovered Perry's lifeless body, face down in the hot tub at his Pacific Palisades home. At the time of his death, Perry had a staggering 3.54 micrograms per milliliter of ketamine in his bloodstream. The official cause of death was later confirmed to be the acute effects of ketamine, with contributing factors of drowning, coronary artery disease, and buprenorphine, an opioid. In an alarming revelation, law enforcement disclosed that a text message from Dr. Placencia showed a blatant disregard for Perry's well-being. He wrote, I wonder how much this moron will pay, and, let's, sick, find out, highlighting the predatory nature of the relationship surrounding the actor. Perry had openly struggled with substance abuse issues for decades, and it was reported that he had relapsed in the months leading up to his death. Friends of the actor noted that he had become increasingly obsessed with ketamine, expressing interest in starting a business centered around the drug. One close friend disclosed that Perry described the substance as fantastic and was eager to partner with a Glendale-based associate to sell it, indicating a troubling descent into addiction that ultimately cost him his life. The situation surrounding Perry's death has left a profound impact on his family, who have expressed their heartbreak over the loss. Perry's stepfather, Keith Morrison, conveyed the family's sentiments in a statement, saying, We were and still are heartbroken by Matthew's death, but it has helped to know law enforcement has taken his case very seriously. We look forward to justice taking its course. Iwamasa, who has pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to distribute ketamine causing death, faces a potential 15-year prison sentence. The investigation remains ongoing, with authorities pursuing charges against all individuals involved in Perry's tragic demise. The revelations surrounding Perry's death have sparked renewed discussions about the dangers of substance abuse, the responsibilities of those around individuals struggling with addiction, and the need for better support systems for those in the entertainment industry. As fans and loved ones mourn the loss of a cherished actor, the quest for justice continues, with hopes that accountability will be served for those who exploited Perry during his vulnerable moments.